Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing video and it's another Hoover, yes another Hoover vacuum cleaner. I've had a bit of a run on Hoovers of late but I've wanted this particular model, the Silent Energy, for quite some time. If you check back on my channel and regular viewers will know that I have a couple of Hoover free motion cylinder vacuum cleaners which are based on this shape. The Silent Energy is based on the free motion shape. But Hoover did make some improvements to the free motion style. Well, not necessarily, they didn't improve the style, but they improved some of the components, uh, notably the hose, which was prone to splitting on the free motions. This also has a different carpet and hard floor nozzle. Plus, I think it has a Yes, it has the hard floor caress nozzle as well. Still has the same appalling three-in-one multi-tool, I think. Anyway, I thought I'd missed the boat with the Silent Energy. They stopped be being available. And because it's, uh, is it 2000? Let me just check the wattage. It's, it's quite a high wattage anyway. Oh, somebody's put a horrible label over it, but I think it's 2,200 watts maximum. I'll tell you when I get it open. I think it does say on the machine itself, yes, it's 2,200 watts. So obviously this was made before the EC regulations came into effect. Anyway, so I, as I say, I thought I'd missed the boat. And before I open this, I'm a little bit dubious because it's only secured with two bits of tape either side. Um, it came direct from Hoover. I ordered it from their website. So I'm just hoping, and it felt, when I lifted it up, it felt, oh, that feels a bit light. It feels lighter than the free motion. I hope it's got everything in it. So anyway, I got this direct from Hoover. They were selling some of their high wattage vacuums off. And I saw this at 69.99. And at the time of buying this, I think I could still get it from Amazon, but it was, well, it was a ridiculous price well over a hundred but for 70 pounds this costs actually the same I was looking back on my order history at Hoover the only other thing I ordered direct from Hoover was the pure power green green ray cylinder which uh, I unboxed on this channel and got rid of quite soon after um, anyway they have that as well for the same price 69.99 now, although I regretted selling the Pure Power Cylinder, and I do want another one, I thought, well, I'd rather have one of these first, and if I can afford the Pure Power next month and they still have it, I'll get the Pure Power again, because, you know, I don't think I gave that machine enough of a chance. I quite liked it. I was looking back at the video myself and thinking, oh, why did I get rid of that? So, hopefully, they'll still have stocks of the Pure Power Cylinder, so I can get that as well. So here we go, Silent Energy, Smart Power, Intelligent Cleaning, Navigator Smart Control, Super Silent, 50% less energy consumption, well only when it's on the, the green setting which is called Silent Energy, then it uh, uses 1100 watts I believe on that setting, and yes hard floor caress. And if we look, this is the old, old range of Hoover cleaners. I never had one of the, well I did have an early free jet cordless. This was before cordless really took off in the UK. Um, now nearly every manufacturer is offering some sort of cord, cordless stick. There of course is the dust manager, that's still plodding along in a lower wattage motor. There's the Zarion, quite liked the Zarion style. Um, the Idle A2 and if you, if you look back at my channel, that was appalling, based on the Amazon, but not very good. There's a Jovis handheld. I had a Jovis, quite big and bulky, and there's a slalom. I had two slaloms. I've I got rid of all the slaloms. I, I've, I've had more than two. I've had probably three and sold them all on. But now I'm thinking I want a slalom again. I can still buy the slalom, so I probably will get that and keep it this time. So, there we go. Well, so far everything looks as it should. Let's move it a bit, that's it, and see it a bit better now. It's a bit more of an aerial shot for you. 
Right, let's have a look. I was really pleased to get this and let's hope it's okay. It seems all right at initial glance. I'm always, you know, because I've had quite a few negative experience of, experiences of buying vacuums over the internet and that's where I get my majority of cleaners from. But I suppose because I do buy so many, there's bound to be a few that aren't going to be quite how they should be. So there's the Telezoom extension tube. Half plastic, half metal, just the same as on the Freemotion, apart from the plastic piece is finished in a black instead of the sort of a off-white that's on the free motion. Pop that to one side. Let's get the hose out now, shall we? Although the hose, I believe, is strengthened, I thought I was hoping it would be more flexible, but it doesn't seem to be. Looks all right so far. Which magazine, it's, uh, which is a consumer magazine in the UK, they also have a website, who my father used to subscribe to for years and I used to like getting the magazines. This is way before the internet, of course. I used to get the magazines about twice a year they do vacuum cleaners and I really used to look forward to that. They're not, well I don't think personally, they're the same as they used to be, which. But anyway, which actually gave this machine a best buy. Not many Hoover cleaners get a best buy from which. This cleaner got a best buy and I believe the um, Hoover Freedom Upright cleaner got a Best Buy as well. This did have a five year guarantee. I'm not sure if it still does. Because Hoover's reputation for reliability is not very good. Oh. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fairly flexible. I suppose this hose, but I can just, in my hand, it just, it's a lot, lot stronger. It's a lot stronger than the hose on the free motion. They have improved it. Why couldn't they have done it in the first place? It's, it's been strengthened the whole, all the way. If you look at the white lines, if you see the gray, which I assume the gray is the grey carries the electrical cable to the remote control. So that's that, that forms that part of the hose. And then it's been reinforced all the way down, all around. So hopefully that has solved the problem. And then of course it's a power hose, so we've got the two prongs, which connect up with the two holes on the body of the machine, which obviously take power to the navigator handle. Surprisingly, that swivels. I don't think it's swiveled at this end. No, it's fixed at the cleaner end, but it does actually swivel at that end. It is quite heavy. But anyway, here's the navigator handle with one less button than the, the free motion, the free motion that had the navigator handle with remote that had four buttons they've done away with the button but I do believe the hoses are interchangeable with each other so the top button of course is the on off then we've got what's that say turbo so obviously that's maximum silent energy that's sort of midway speed for regular cleaning and soft I think that says for your delicate cleaning those light up as you press them You've got the telezoom lever here, which controls the telescopic extension tube. So there's no bending to adjust that. You just put your foot on the nozzle, the floor nozzle, lift that up and you can pull it out. And underneath, of course, we've got the little bracket which holds the awful little three-in-one tool. So all in all, yeah, that's an improvement. And if I remember correctly, the free motion power hose didn't swivel, and I'm not even sure if the non-power hose swivelled. I'll have to check back on that. But anyway, that's that's a nice touch. Okay, let's have a look at the main carpet and floor nozzle. I didn't bring my scissors. 
Oh, mate, right, that's okay. Unfortunately, it looks like it's a good nozzle. It's a nice design nozzle, that. But, mm, plastic. Plastic base plate, I'd rather see a metal base plate. But anyway, you've got the plastic base plate, two litter pickers, and they're very long on this model. I'd say possibly nearly a third longer than, than many nozzles I've used. And also, quite a large suction inlet. Again, about a third longer. And of course the suction groove goes all the way across the width of the body and up to the edge suction channels. Foot operated pedal on the top of the head. And what that does is lowers the brushes at the front and also at the back lowers the squeegee to stop it flicking dirt away from the suction channel. Hopefully that squeegee enables all the dirt to be captured. And while we're, up, we're on the bottom, we've got a roller, nice smooth running roller there. No other wheels on this nozzle. And of course you've got the parking bracket at the back so we can park it on the back of the machine when we're cleaning, if we want to pause during cleaning, or I think, I'm pretty sure it has a parking bracket on the back of the machine as well. And of course, it's got a nice fitting, it's push button, so everything clicks together. So that's the floor nozzle clicked into the extension wand. I still cannot expand on the extension wand yet until I connect the handle so that needs to be clicked in first so again it's nice it is nice and solid feel to the machine this for a Chinese made machine it's pretty good and for 69.99 delivered I'm quite pleased with it so far we haven't got the machine out yet of course so here's the telezoom tube so now now I release that lever I can actually pull out, hopefully, there we go, pull out the extension wand and of course because it's got all these little notches I can adjust it to many different positions according to how high or low I'm cleaning of course according to how tall the person is using the machine. But when we're storing it away we just collapse it down completely like that. So, so far so good. Now, the other tools that should be in this box should be the parquet caress and the multi-tool. And here they are. Speak of the devil. I don't know, it looks a little bit different. I'm not sure. Maybe a bit just because it's, it's a very dark grey. There it is. Such as it is. Now, that, it's fine for upholstery at a push. It's, it's no good for stairs, but that's the three-in-one tool that stores on the handle, underneath the navigator handle. Used this way, it's an upholstery brush, or upholstery nozzle, you could use it on your curtains I suppose. With the little brush pushed out, it's sort of a dusting brush. And when you put the tube in that side, then you've got a crevice nozzle. Now I was doing that because I believe, I'm sure the other free motion I've got, it pulls out. I'm not sure if that's just a fixed one that's the length that it would be if it was pulled out, if you know what I mean. But anyway, that uh, there is something, I knew there was something different about this. You can of course swivel it, there, swivel it round to a different angle. So as you can see by the shape of that, that's where, well that's, I'll show you while we're here. Let me just take the tube off the handle. You can connect, obviously you can connect this directly to the handle or to the end of the wand. So you can put it in this way as the crevice tool and again you can you can move it, you can angle it straight if you want. And it goes in this way. Oops, should do. Yeah, a little bit stiff. 
Right, goes in that way, it doesn't actually click in though, there's no click. But that's the way it goes in for using it as your upholstery and furniture nozzle and of course with the brushes out as your dusting tool. Some free motions came with a mini turbo brush. I'm pretty sure this this silent energy doesn't. You can get, of course, uh, the mini turbo as an optional extra and you can get the full sized turbo. Now I do have a full sized turbo nozzle but it's for the free motion. Although it will fit this, it's in that off white colour. But I have seen on Amazon they actually do the turbo nozzle that fits this in this finish. It's quite expensive at the moment so I've got it in my wish list and I keep checking because Amazon's prices do tend to fluctuate a lot. If I can get that turbo nozzle it would make this cleaner much better I think. I'm going to use this one I think um, because it doesn't have the sort of finish, it doesn't have the very delicate spray painted finish of, finish of the free motions. I believe it's just a black so I will probably use this for a bit. So there will be a demo video of this coming up at some point. So the next nozzle oops, is the Hard Floor Caress. Again, I could, you know, I could buy this. I don't think I came, it came with any of the free motions I had, but it was available as an option for the free motion in the off-white colour. Quite a nice nozzle. Everything does feel quite well made in this model. You've got what I presume are horsehair bristles, great for your delicate flooring, and two wheels, felt wheels, again designed for you to clean your hard floors without scratching. And of course on the back you've got your bracket if you need to park the machine either in the parking position or the storage position. So if your home is mainly hard floors you'd probably leave that on your cleaner more but of course you can use a dual purpose hard floor and carpet nozzle anyway but that is good if you've got floors that you don't want to scratch. And that's all the tools. Let me have a quick look at the back here. No, that's all the tools. And here is the instruction manual. It's all wrapped up nicely, so I think I think it'll be okay. Just when when I signed for it and saw it didn't seem very well sealed, I was a little bit nervous. Hoover Silent Energy. So it's pretty bog standard. I don't think I need to. Yes, it's showing it's showing to the turbo nozzles both. It's showing a hand turbo and a, a main. There we go, There's a, right in the middle of the picture is the main turbo nozzle and the other side there is the hand turbo. I do have the handheld nozzle, well as I said I've got both the handheld and the large one that they match my bagged top of the range free motion with the awful hose. Now then, I'm hoping Yes, just, I'm just wondering, is this a European model with the wrong plug on? So here we go, it's nicely wrapped up I must say, to protect it. Oh, I bet it wasn't expecting to be on YouTube, but it is. Finished in a rather smart red and black, so this is a real man's cleaner. No pastel colours. So a man would probably feel macho enough to use this machine. Right, come on. Out you come, out you come. Ah, there we go, right. Well that is, um, mm. It's obviously from the factory, but yeah, a little polish, a little polish, we'll sort that. Now I'm looking at it though, mm. it does, it's a nice finish. Obviously it's not a metallic finish, but it is 
obviously it's a two-tone black. You can see there's a difference in the, the colour. It's more of a grey and there's black. But it's a matte black. It's not a shiny black. But it's matte without being textured. So it's, it's very smart. Here's a little swing ticket. Obviously no sort of energy label on this machine. This predates the energy labelling scheme by quite, quite a couple of years, I expect. I'm not sure exactly when this machine was launched, but it is a while ago. So we'll take that swing ticket off. There we go. We've got a little swing ticket showing the navigator handle. And on the back, showing some of the main features and benefits. Hoover Generation Future, you see that's an old, do this, I don't know if they still use, I think they still use that strap line, but I think that dates from the early 2000s, that Generation Future tagline. Anyway, turbo, power, 2200 watts, silent energy, smart power, intelligent cleaning, silent energy, super silent, minus 50% energy consumption, soft, ideal for delicate cleaning. Uh, so that all that tells you is the features of the navigator handle, not the features of the vacuum itself, which, you know, as I've said before, it's very smart looking vacuum, the free motion design, but hopefully this silent energy will address the balance, um, the problems that the free motion had mainly with the hose. So on the back, yes, we do have a parking slot. The model is TSE 0100 001 and it's 1700 to 900 watt PCEE, whatever that means, and PMAX 2200 watts type VS08 be approved, blah blah. You got your 360 degree caster, two wheels. It is all, all in all, it's a very manoeuvrable little machine. The wheels are very, very close, of course, to the bottom of the cleaner. So as you're dragging the machine around, pulling it over thresholds, etc., it scratches up something rotten because it's so close which is why, even with very careful use, my gold free motion is showing signs, I, mean, I hardly ever use it, it's showing signs of damage. But this is basically a free motion with the built-in carry handle there. And of course, if I was to press on the button, you should see the dust bag. It's not going to do it first time. Or even second, we're going to have to help it this time. I think the blue free motion that I unboxed, it did pop out now. This is where we had the bit of fingering, didn't we, when in my last video. Let me just move this out the way a minute. I'm looking at my uh, monitor and I don't like the look of that. I don't like all this mess either, but anyway, I've unboxed all that. So, uh, yes, I was doing my fingering, uh, finger action with this to pull it out and oh there we go on it it's done it this time it's pulled it out and sealed it the pure HEPA H60 bag non-reusable it's very thick it's a very good quality bag for Hoover just the same basically as that blue free motion got the filter here Come on, why aren't you coming out? Ah, oh, a little bit, little bit sticky. Looks exactly the same HEPA type filter, pre-motor that is. And as, the same as the free motion, there is no replaceable exhaust filter. The exhaust filter's obviously under this flap, for all those of you that don't know. I might be able to show you a bit, yes. Just under that flap there's a white pad, the exhaust, now does that come out? Because I'm sure it didn't on the other one. No, it seems to be fixed. 
So the main job of the white filter is to filter out the carbon dust that the motor generates. But all in all, you know, it's a free motion basically. Click that obviously. No, you can't use the machine without the bag and the filter because the bag door won't close. Now hopefully, oh yes I can, I've reopened the hole in the bag. Now I can slide it back in, making sure it's the correct way. That's it, it's clicked in place. And before I close the bag door, I just need to check that it's not trapped around the side. And I'll just look through, yes. I don't know if you can quite see, but the bag is in there, fitted correctly. Just try that again. Ah, oh, well, it, it popped up slightly, but I think with use, that will pop up better than that. It is designed to pop, to pop up straight away when you press. But I think with use, it probably will do. So underneath the press button for the bag door, we've got the little bag check indicator and I believe it's, it's actually a light, it's not a piston, it's a light. You see, nothing's ever perfect. A little bit of, it'll polish up a bit, but there's a little bit of, it's hard to see from your angle, but Oh, sorry, my foot's just gone right to sleep. I can't feel it <laughs> at all. Right, here's the um, parking bracket for the large floor tools. You can fit. I've got the caress nozzle on there. I can fit the other nozzle on. The four sort of plasticky. Oh, I just spat on my vacuum. Uh, four plastic sort of feet things that help stabilise the machine when it's in the upright position. We do have a little bit of a bumper in that rather smart red, sort of a like a racing car thing. When I see this, it's the black and red, I don't know, it makes me think of, of Grand Prix for some reason. Not that I watch it, but yeah. What I was going to show you something before I got distracted by the pretty red. Oh yes, the, the back of the machine. It's a pull-pull cord rewind system, which means you pull it out, it locks in position, and then when you've finished cleaning, just give it a little tug and it retracts back into the cleaner. And looking at this, I, I, you know, I'll have to look back on the video, but I'm pretty sure, or fairly sure, that the blue free motion had one of those flat cords. This one is a more regular round cord. But then, you know, it does, it does carry 2,200 watts of electricity through it. Oh, I'll just try and move. Ow. <laughs> just, so I'm just rubbing my feet, getting some ooh circulation back. So let's, let's pull out the cord and we'll give this a little go, but like I said, unlike the blue free motion that I don't want to use because for one it's got the awful finish that, well the nice finish that is not very robust, but also it's got that hose which is prone to splitting. Now I think I'll plug the hose in actually before because I think if I plug it in now without the hose attached it might turn on. No, let me try that theory. Oh, it doesn't. Thanks for calling me a liar, Hoover. Anyway, sometimes it does on some cleaners with power hoses. What has happened though is the little light has come on above the remote control. But I'll unplug that. So let's plug the hose in. Make sure, obviously, the prongs need to go in to the holes there. It clicks, nice firm click. Yeah. Right. 
So, that's the machine. Very nice. Now I need to I need to plug it back in. And we'll start off on soft. So obviously when I press the soft button, it should illuminate. Ah, now I need to turn the mains on first. I think by default it comes, it starts on silent energy setting. I think, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Yes, as you can see, it's on silent energy, not too loud actually. Oh, and it's turned blue. Well, it looks blue to me. On the viewfinder, it looks green. I'm not sure what colour it'll actually come out at, but it is blue. I'm not colour blind, I'm pretty sure of that. So it's blue, blue for soft, green for silent energy. And what colour is it for turbo? Blue again. Wow. It does sound nice. It's a smooth running vacuum. Yeah. The hose is, it's, although it's improved, it's still a heavy hose. The best hoses, are, well the hose I like the best that has a remote control on because for me there's no need to have electric cable running through to the handle just to operate the remote control. Now if this cleaner, and I would have loved it if it ever did, if this cleaner had a power head with it then obviously you would need to have cable through here and cable going through the extension wand to power a motorised head. And who knows, Hoover Vax um, have got a motorised, a couple of motorised cylinders out, um, AEG have, Miele have now. Would be nice if Hoover may introduce some motorised heads to improve their carpet cleaning performance for a cylinder, never know, but anyway. So anyway, I have a Miele, which uh, I haven't actually done the review of yet at the time of making this, but by the time I've uploaded this, I might have done the review. It is one of the next ones we're gonna do the Miele S4. That has a remote control but it's operated by um, radio frequency or something. It's not infrared, it's an RF thing. Um, so anyway, it basically means you can switch the machine on and off, vary the power without the need of being any mains connecting cable in the hose because it sends the signal to a receiver on the machine. That sort of remote system I, I think is fantastic because then of course you can have a regular lighter hose but still have the benefit of a remote handle control. And a remote handle control is something that I like to see on a cylinder because it is surprising how often you want to change the power levels of a vacuum when you're cleaning. You just, I just like, I like the feature. I've liked it ever since, you know, the Sensotronics that were the first, they were, I think they may, may have been the first cleaners Hoover produced with the remote. If you don't include that celebrity that we got in the UK, we got the Celebrity Air Ride and we got the Celebrity Custom Deluxe or something. And that had an on off switch on the handle, but it operated with air pressure or something. I'm not really sure how it worked, but I think that could have been one of the earliest Hoover cleaners that had a, any sort of remote handle control. Write down in the comments if you uh, if you know better. It might have been another one, but that's the only, that's the first one I think of, and it was about seventy seven. I think we got that machine in the UK, the celebrity that had wheels. It um, didn't float. So here we go. Shall I have a little back and forth motion on eight, on each setting? No, I'll just do it on silent energy, and then I'll switch to turbo because I probably wouldn't use soft on carpets. If I had a lightweight rug I probably would use the soft setting. Oh that's better. Ooh, get some get some blood to my feet. Hang on a minute. Let's pull my socks up. Pull your socks up Roger. Now I don't like that shot. I don't like the curly cable showing so we'll go around this way. Get that out of the way there. Oh it's lovely. It's a lovely looking back. 
You know, I do see the attractiveness of mundane things. I suppose that's why I collect vacuums. Someone designs them. It's quite a short hose. Okay, so I'll put my foot on the nozzle while I'm squeezing the doobie, the telezoom trigger. Oh! Now, I don't think I'm going to need it that high. No. Yeah, I think that's about, that's about nice. A nice height, nice comfortable height. Okay, we'll start off, well it's going to start off automatically on silent energy, so I'll have a little go. Then I'll switch to turbo. So, silent energy first. Yeah, doesn't really feel like it's gripping. You can see the carpet is moving the carpet a bit, but let's switch to turbo. That's more like it. So, yeah, I like that. That's a good one. Not silent, but certainly not noisy by Hoover's standards. I do remember which criticizing them calling it silent energy. They said, despite the name, it was quite an energy guzzler. Not, of course, when it's on the eco setting, because at 1100 watts that's quite economical, but at its full power, which I believe, I think most people when cleaning carpets would use a turbo setting. I, so I certainly will be when I'm using it. Oops, there we go. I'd certainly use a turbo. Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? If you can focus, that's lovely. We've got the uh, tele, what's it called? Navigator handle. <laughs> Telezoom. We've got the navigator handle. Was in focus. I'm trying to look in my cat. I'm trying to look at the viewfinder. It's very difficult. Anyway, there we go. I like it. Let's see if the flex rewind works. But like, it's it's brand new and the flex is still. Although it's only just come out of the machine from whenever it left the factory. So it's still a bit curly, so it might it might struggle for the first few times. They normally do, I always find, with brand new rewinds. Yeah, a little bit slow, but I'd rather it went a little bit slow than too quickly. But it's done. It's gone in there. So, yes, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased that that was made available on Hoover's website for me to purchase. As I said, I've always wanted one. Now, I don't know when I'm uploading this because there's a lot of videos I've made that I need to upload first. So, if you want one of these, go on Hoover's UK website now, if you're in the UK, and they do have, or they did have a section on clearance, high wattage, vacuum cleaners. This was one of them, and I think at £70 delivered, and it was a, de delivered when you wanted it delivered, on the day of your choice, for free. I think I had, if you wanted it on a Saturday, you had to pay a bit extra. But I chose my delivery day, and true to their word, it was delivered on the day, although I didn't get any, any tracking information, or I should have had an email from the courier, apparently, telling me it was on its way, and when, it, when to expect it, but I didn't get that. So I was starting to think, oh, is it not coming? But fortunately, it did turn up. So, there we are, that's the hard floor caress, and that. So at some point, I would like to get for this the full-sized black or dark grey uh, turbo nozzle for that. 
because I think that will make um, a huge difference. Of course I can try it out with the other turbo nozzle that's not stored here, my other free motion. So now I've got three, basically, three free motion styled cleaners. I've got the top model bagged in the champagne gold. I've got that blue, mineral blue bagged. And of course I've got this silent energy version. I've, I have owned bagless ones and sold them, but again now I'm thinking, oh, why did I sell it? I wish I'd kept, because I would have liked, they weren't very good, the bagged was better, were better in this instance. Much more suction power in the bagged version than the bagless. But just the fact that, well I just want a, bag, a bagless one to go with the range. So I'll keep my eyes peeled, because normally if I, if I want something they, I do tend to find them, they do tend to turn up. Just as this Hoover Silent Energy turned up on their website. So I'll leave you with that. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more vacuum cleaner related videos. I upload three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. Friday will always, certainly for now anyway, be unique content that I've recorded. Uh, Monday and Wednesday is other bits and pieces I've found. Although sometimes I will upload something that I've done on a Monday or Wednesday, if I have time. So that's another one unboxed, the Hoover Silent Energy Bad Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner.